everyone, my name is Marisa and I'm an interpreter at the National Gallery of Canada. Today we're going to be making floral garlands like this one here. And we're being inspired by Tal Lewis's artwork, Symphony. In this work of art, you can see many, many beautiful garlands of flowers. Tal Lewis actually used recycled fabrics like old towels, blankets, and curtains to create this work of art. She carefully hand sewed each piece from the floral garlands to the beautiful clothes. To make our own floral garlands, we're going to need a few supplies. Now, if you came to the gallery and you got a family art adventure kit, you would have received some squares of tissue paper, some yarn, and some pipe cleaners like these. But if you're at home, you can use other things too. If you don't have a square of tissue paper like these, maybe you have an old gift lying around, uh, maybe wrapping paper from an old gift that you can use. So any kind of tissue paper or thin paper will do the trick. And if you don't have pipe cleaners, you can use twist ties uh, or string to tie your, your petals together, which we're going to see how to do. And we're also going to use some recycled fabric like Tal Lewis does, if you have that lying around. And you might want some scissors to cut your tissue paper um, or a stapler to attach the petals together if you don't have uh, twist ties or pipe cleaners. You can use 10 sheets if you want, uh, but I'm going to do it with six because that's a little bit easier to handle. And now I'm going to make an accordion. So. What you want to do is fold up a tab at the bottom of about one or two centimeters like that. And then you're going to flip over the whole thing and do the same thing, but folding the other way. So now we have to tie the middle together and I'm going to use one of my pipe cleaners here, but you could also use a stapler and staple it in the middle like that. You could use a twist tie around the middle, but I'm gonna use a pipe cleaner. I'm gonna wrap the top end around like that. You don't have to press it together too hard. You don't wanna crush your tissue paper. So just enough to keep it secure. And I'm gonna twist this end around, keep it in place like that. Now, this is the fun part, but you have to be a little bit delicate, okay? We're gonna open up our flowers like that. Just a little bit. And you're gonna lift up each petal one by one really carefully. So, start with this one. And just take your time. And there you go, you've got a flower. It's like magic. I'm gonna show you how to tie your flowers onto your piece of yarn or string, whatever you're using. So if you used a pipe cleaner like me or a twist tie, it's really easy. You can just twist that piece around the yarn. If you have a bit of extra left over, you could twist it around your finger and make a cool kind of vine coming out of your flower like that. If you used a flower that was made with a stapler, what you can do to tie it onto your, your piece of yarn is to wrap the string around the middle where the stapler is and tie it into place like that. If you have some recycled fabric pieces at home like this, uh, you can tie those onto your garland as well. So there you go. Adds a nice little ribbon in the middle. So you might end up with a full garland eventually that looks something like this. I hope you had fun today with me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me in craft making today. If you want to share your artwork with me, please do take a photo of it and share it on social media. And don't forget to tag the National Gallery of Canada. Bye. See you next time.